and a one and a two and I'm gonna introduce the part because that's what I do I gotta try to do something like hey viewers how's it going welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus as you all know I'm a big dumb idiot but that's besides the point what we got going on here is Shadow of the Colossus where I gotta go fight me one of them Colossus because I'm the shadow or something you know the imminent doom but that's not the point. I got my horse here. He's just riding along with me. We uh, we gotta go wake up the Colossus. You know, we're right here. Action's gonna happen. You don't need to tell me, hey, let's hurry up the part. Because it's alright going. Okay, all I gotta do is just edge ever so carefully right here. Oh uh, yeah, we got one of these big old colossus, one of these big old quad pedal longest guys. All they do is they slowly walk towards you, try to step on you. Well, this guy mixes it up a little bit. He's not the same old, same old. You see, he likes to throw some projectiles, some light bolts at you that explode on impact. It's not what I like, but at the same time, I got a horse. I got a horse. Meanwhile, you might be wondering, what is the real objective here? Well, you see, these geysers, we gotta lead them into one of those. That's the best I can explain it, you know. I, I just gotta ride along, just try to avoid his shit, and then all of a sudden he walks into one of these geysers, and then we're good to go! We can actually move on with the battle! Sure, I would fast forward it, but I mean, let's be honest, this is about what you can expect when you're playing Shadow of the Colossus. Waiting for him to slowly move into position so I can progress with the battle. It's a little annoying too because, I mean, he doesn't always like to move on to the geysers like so. I mean, granted, this, this is just preparation. I mean, this is to be expected, but I mean, really, it's just me riding around doing what you expect with number nine here. Or is it number two? Is this number 9? Number 11? I don't even remember. You know what? Maybe it's number 8. No. This is 9. This is 9. This is number 9. I, I think I... No. Well, I mean, like, he's right there. All I gotta do is have him turn a little bit to the right. Or I guess his left will be good. Alright. I know what I'm doing, okay? I know I said I'm an idiot. Okay, he's in position. This should work. I mean, I know. I'm getting shit lobbed at me, but this should. See, it's. Oh. I did fuck up. My bad, viewers. My bad. I'm just gonna. Oh. I'm in trouble, aren't I? The whole thing is, I try to get on my horse. Oh, and he's hurt. No. Oh. My horse, I failed you. I failed you real bad. Look, he. He's in position, alright? The guys are hitting him in the face. He should be good to go. And you know, the sad part is, I mean, I just need to edge just forward, just ever so slightly, you know? Just enough so that the geyser is really affecting him. You know, just take, like, two steps. We'll be good. Two steps forward. I'll be happy. I won't have to deal with your shit. I don't want to hurt my horse anymore my horse is my BFF he's my only traveling companion you know now grant the horse can't oh he's in position I knew it I knew it see Gilm's not such an idiot you think he's an idiot and you probably say it too I'm fine with that I have no issues whatsoever but I know what I'm doing I uh, sure it doesn't seem like it sometimes but I don't know what I'm doing see you gotta do this now that he's in position his weak point has been revealed the next step up this is a little light, a little light soft spot on his feet. Now, Grant, you have a limited amount of time because, let's be honest, the geyser doesn't exactly go on forever. But that said, he's in position. All I gotta do is wait for him to do the thing. And, oh, see? Like such. Do you move out of position? That's bullshit! Why do I have to put... Ugh. See, next thing about Shadow of the Colossus, which... You know, I'm a little irritated, I gotta be honest. Not that I hate this game, it's a great game, but... You see, 
when things just edge out ever so slightly and they're not on par, it's it's annoying. It's frustrating. Because I don't want to be stuck just... See, here we go. We got it. All I got... The guys are ran out. The guys are run... Oh my god. You see, timing is a huge part of this game. It has puzzle elements. And you know, that's fine and all. I have no issue with this. This guy is epic, sure. But at the same time, you know, timing. You gotta get it ever so slightly. You gotta position him. You gotta shoot the under side of his feet, or at least the soft spot, you know, you gotta expose that. And then when all accumulates and adds up, it equals to success. I bring this up because I finally did it. That's what I was trying to do all along. And sure, I was stalling. I was trying to make up excuses, but I did it. All I gotta do is climb on his shell. Climb on his soft underbelly. Sure, you might be thinking, so here's the weak point. But no, you're fools. You're all fools. It's just a facade. It's an upfront. It makes you think this is where you'd find the weak part. The weak point. The weakest part of his whole entire existence. But it's wrong. It's all wrong. Truth be told, you have to climb onto his shell. There's no fur or any sort of thing to climb onto his shell. Well, I mean, maybe there's indents that you can grab onto. But my point is, be very careful. That'll happen. You will over jump it and then, you know, you will cry because you have to do it all over again. You don't want to do it all over again. I don't want to do it all over again. I gotta climb onto his forehead. That, that is the whole point that I'm trying to sum up here, you know. It's all leading up to this. And the song is playing my jam. Oh, yeah. It, I can't fail, man. This is my no fail song, okay? I gotta do it. All right. I'm sorry, buddy. Your first part is annoying, and sure, you look very gentle up until you start lobbing shit at me. That's not cool, but at the same time, I mean, you got you got a pretty big jaw there. I don't really know what else to say other than, I mean, you're a little aggressive, you're a little violent. Sure, you don't really do that much damage, but it all keeps adding up. I think I've had enough, and all I gotta say is stab you in the forehead. And that's all I really can say about this guy. Do I feel bad? I mean, I guess that's the one question I have to say. Well, I mean, here's my final result. Result of my action? Oh my god, I did it again. No, I got flee from the crowd scene. <laughs> It's always depressing when you see them just cr just like fall to the ground. It's it's actually pretty sad. And I mean my guilt just keeps stabbing me in the heart cuz that's why I choose to say cuz I mean what else is it? The the uh, like the the soul of the colossus. I mean sure you could you could you could really just come up with your own theory there. I have an idea, because I think it kind of gets explained. Also, just going to say this. Going to make a new save file. Been having some technical difficulties. Just got to do it. I feel like it'd be a smart choice, you know. Now we're going to get into glasses there deceptively hard. 
I mean, sure, they're easy if you know what you're doing, but then again, if you're an idiot like me, well, <laughs> you're kind of up shit creek without a paddle now, but I digress, you know. That's not what we have going on here. What we have going on here is exploration. Maybe not hyper exploration, because let's be honest, I mean, I, I do a lot of hyper exploration. Sure, it sums up things, but at the same time, you know, I'm trying to get into the relatively... Uh, no, like the relative path that you have to go don't really want to cut it because I mean by all means this is typically what you expect in the game in the play and what you do because I mean again this is a let's play you know you got to experience what I, you would do if you were playing the game you know I'm playing the game so you don't have to I guess that's a common phrase that a lot of people do especially it's overused when you know it doesn't matter point is point is you know I'm doing this. You guys are watching it. We're playing it together if you're playing Shadow of the Colossus. I know I have one co-worker who is actually watching this and playing it alongside. And I'm giving him a little bit of a shout out. You guys don't know who he is. But at the same time, I do. I do. And I talk about him. Oh, man. Now that I brought up my co-workers. I mean, a couple of them know that I do Let's Plays. I mean, it's weird, you know. Like, over the years that, like, Let's Playing and all this, like, gameplay stuff footage that has been on the internet and then you got PewDiePie who kind of made that like apparent you know it's like I find that I'm a lot more open about like me doing stuff on the internet especially Let's Plays you know I tell people I don't really try to hide it but at the same time I don't really try to be in their face about it occasionally I'm happy about how things go and you know this part has been all right it's been all right I don't think it's like the greatest part in the world but at the same time I feel I'm feeling a little bit of positive energy from it you know I feel like I've actually been able to like converse which is what I try to do Meanwhile, I'm just here trying to shoot a lizard. Uh, sure, it's a little morbid. And I don't like lizards. I mean, I talked about my love for them, but at the same time, I mean, did I ever mention? I mean, this this would probably be a good point to bring up. Did I ever mention you can go a pacifistic route by shooting the tell, and the lizard will live? You can do that. The game actually has that mechanic. I don't think there's really anything for it, and I do admit sometimes I try to be oh so precise doesn't work out it doesn't you know I think it would but it doesn't and that's unfortunate but at the same time at least at least there's a method where you can actually not kill the lizard and you'll be all right and allow me to mark this safe shrine on my little map because you do that you you kind of update it as you go that's pretty neat speaking of which breath of the wild I like how you have this little like encyclopedia of everything and you take photos of it and you know you kind of kind of update it with your own pictures I, i'm not trying to say i'm photogenic in the sense of like how i how i do things you know oh so it's precise but at the same time you know i think it's kind of neat i like that kind of stuff you know i like actually being responsible for actually exploring the world and actually like jotting down little notes on things that kind of shit is really neat i like that kind of innovation and that kind of exploration and that kind of like I don't know um, responsibility I guess can I call it micro you know it doesn't matter point is I'm exploring I like exploring as a gamer that shit entertains me but again you know that's why I bring hyper exploration because I think it's more entertaining for the the player but not so much the viewer and I mean like uh, that's my responsibility I gotta make it so this is enjoyable for all of us you know, I'm traveling on my horse, my traveling companion. He's a good horse. He's a good horse. I gotta say that. You know, I like my horse. I'm not a huge fan of horses in real life because, you know, I almost broke my neck once. That true story. That that uh, that was like a story I don't really want to get into because it was just basically, you know, my own stupidity and not knowing how to do the thing. Also, you might have saw that tree back there five seconds ago. Uh, we already went to that. We already went to that. So don't worry. You know, I'm not missing out on fruit. Because I already got it. We don't need to go check that out. Point is, you kind of have to, like, remember that stuff, you know? And that's why I go to safe shrines. So it's like, okay, I've been to this area. I've done it. I don't need to go here. See, this fruit tree, we haven't done it, okay? That's why we got to go do it right now. That's why I got to take a couple seconds. I know the video is going on just a little longer than expected. But, hey, this is what you, this is what you get. When you gotta go collect stuff. 
I, but I guess seriously, I shouldn't like consider ending the video. You know what? I don't care. I'm I'm gonna get the fruit from here, and then I think I will end the video. That, that's why. That's where I'm going with this. That's why. I'm, that's my conclusion. All right. So you might be wondering, killed him. Have you figured out a method for like harvesting fruit? Like, have you figured it out? And it's like, uh. I don't really think there's a method or anything, you know. This, this is just my consensus when it comes to trees. Sometimes it helps to climb them. S sometimes because, like, the leaves and the the uh, branches, they kind of get in the way. You can't really see it, especially depending on the fruit, because sometimes it's really hidden. And other times, I mean, like, it does stand out pretty vibrantly because, like, the color... The color schemes are pretty di diverse in terms of like, you know, they don't really match up too well, so they stick out like a sore thumb. That said, sometimes you just need an edge, so y you climb up the tree, you look very carefully, generally some branches will have like two to three pieces of fruit, other times it'll just be like one small little thing of fruit on the whole entire tree. So you know, I, I've, I've figured out that like sometimes you'll find like uh, I think the most I've ever found is like I want to say five but I would not put it past saying I found six so like five to six pieces of fruit like at most other times they'll be like uh, one but for the most part I'd, I'd say like three to four pieces of fruit are generally you'll you'll find about three to four pieces of fruit sometimes two but, like, usually that, that's pretty normal. That's pretty much, like, the norm that you can expect when going fruit hunting on a tree. I know I haven't really talked about that, and that's probably something I should have brought up super early in the part. But at the same time, you know, no time like the present. Also, one minor tidbit before I end the part, because this has gone on really, really long. Longer than I expected. Uh, sometimes, you'll go look for fruit. And you'll realize it's despawned. The only advice I have for that is maybe like try to go somewhere else, kind of out out of camera or something. I don't know. Go to that safe train over there, and then you'll find it. You'll find it. Uh, it'll respawn on the tree. Uh, I've, that, that's what my consensus is. But anyways, I'm gonna end it off here because this part has gone along a little bit longer. Didn't mean for it to, but it is what it is. So next time, going to that sand dune.